Hey everybody, it's great to meet you. My name is Julian Serafian and thank you so much for featuring me on your channel. Let's watch some cars and talk about the law. Officer, talk to me, babe. How long is this gonna take? I gotta get to California pronto. Where's your lawyer? I don't know, Tahiti maybe. He's got a timeshare there. When a defendant has no <laughs> lawyer, the court will assign one to him. Hey, anyone wanna be his lawyer? <laughs> of course it's better. All right, pause. So first of all, the United States Constitution does provide for the right to an attorney in criminal cases. And if you cannot afford an attorney on your own means, because lawyers are very expensive, the court will appoint one for you. But again, that's only in criminal cases. And what we're dealing with here is traffic court specifically, uh, which falls under the uh, umbrella of civil court cases rather than criminal. And what that means is the law that was broken is a civil law, not a criminal one. And the punishment that arises from a civil case is most traditionally monetary, like money damages, and in some cases, community service, but it's definitely not jail time, which criminal cases typically do provide for as punishment. I'm gonna put him in jail till he rots. No, check that. I'm gonna put him in jail till the jail rots on top of him, and then I'm gonna move him to a new jail. Not a good sign if your judge doesn't like you. Throw him out of here, Sheriff. I want him out of my courtroom. I want him out of our town. Case dismissed. Yes. Boy, I'm pretty good at this lawyer and stuff. Sorry, I'm late, Your Honor. Judges typically do have discretion to dismiss cases if the judge is the ultimate decision maker and arbiter of justice rather than having a jury. And whether or not you get a judge or a jury in a civil case is typically either an agreement by one or both parties or one party requests to have a jury. In this case, I don't think Lightning McQueen had a choice and there is no jury, it's just the judge. But the judge does for low level cases typically have the authority to release and end the case if they don't think that it's either in the best administration of justice or there are other ethical concerns, for example, with, uh, with continuing the case onward. Hi, folks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know her? She's a town attorney and my fiance. What? Nah, dickhead. She just likes me for my body. Doc. In civil and criminal cases that involve the government, the government has their own attorney and the attorney typically works for the government, not for any law firm. And on the other side, of course, is the defendant. In this case, it's Lightning McQueen. And like we talked about earlier, he could have his own attorney or uh, in certain cases, like criminal cases, there will be one that is appointed to him. It is our job and our pleasure to take care of the travelers on our stretch of that road. But how, I ask you, are we to care for those travelers if there is no road for them to drive on? Oh, well, what do you have at your store? I have gas. Lots of gas. Okay, boys, stay with me. Uh, and Jack, what will happen if no one can come to your station to buy gas? gas? I'll go out of business and we'll have to leave town. And what's going to happen to all of us if Flo leaves town and closes her station? Well, I'm gas oh, is the yes, What? So don't you think the car responsible should fix our road? So what do you want to do? It's funny because in this scene, she's addressing the crowd as if the crowd is the jury. And when you're an attorney for either side, of course, the jury is the group of people that you need to convince of your case for your client's interests, because the jury is typically the one that makes the ultimate legal decision for, uh, you know, innocent versus guilty or liable versus not liable in a civil case. Of course, in this case, these folks are not the jury, but just citizens who are sitting in the courtroom and watching the proceedings, very rare for a lawyer to address and grandstand uh, the entire room like that, uh, but even more specifically to address people who are watching and observing the proceedings because they just don't have anything to do with the court case. And so if judges see that type of behavior by lawyers, it's gonna raise some eyebrows. Of course, in this case, it's such a small town. Everybody here knows each other except Lightning McQueen and uh, and as we're about to find out, that might be enough for persuading the judge. Order in the court. Seems like my mind has been changed for me. No. 
And one final parting note here is judges are human beings or cars, of course, and as such, they have biases and their minds can be changed. And in this case, the very, very compelling speech by Madame Portia was enough to rile up the crowd of citizens in the town and convince the judge to change his mind and say, you know what, Lightning McQueen, you messed up, you need to fix the road. And that is very possible, that, that a judge can have their, their mind made up one way and an attorney can make an incredibly compelling case uh, for why it should be switched the other direction. And the judge, if they are the ultimate decision maker, which again, in this case, it looks like they were, they can change their mind because that's the beauty of what it is to be an effective attorney. It's the power of persuasion. All right, that's it from me, guys. Thank you for featuring me and everybody out there. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care.